What is going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back in to the 2024 Legends of the Lake presented by Innova. We've got your final round, round five. These guys are gonna be playing Kingvale 2 Disc Golf Course in Soda Springs, California. We got myself, Spanky Edwards, my good buddy, Dave Salazar. Howdy. And obviously, catch Safety <laughs> Ridge Merkley on the catch cam. Um, this is a, this is going to be an interesting one. This is a brand new course. It was established mm -hmm. this year. Um, by Craig Getty, right? Yeah. By Craig Getty. Yep. Yeah. Very cool course. Like I said, I just had the opportunity to play it a couple weeks ago. Um, you can see how raw it is behind them. Yeah. <laughs> it has a, a lot of potential. The shots are cool. Yeah. The shots are very cool. They're They're there. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna see the some. Whoa! Hey oh Hey oh Trick shots. But yeah, we're gonna see some slightly like uh, I don't even know how to say it. Like uh, maybe unmanicured green. So we're gonna I'm curious how the footing is gonna be for these guys in the fairways. But yeah, Tristan Cook uh, taking control so far. Um, far from over. Far from over. Far from On this over. course, you're gonna see anything can happen out here. Yeah, the fire round last one was Mike. Mike Sale. At eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Really earning his way up here and showing us how it's done. Uh, hole one though is 179. It's just up and over to the right. Kind of Tristan's dream shot here. These guys are throwing basically an overstable putter forehand. The backhand works, but the forehand I think is really the play. Put it out high and wide and Ooh. Oh, just like that. Yeah, this looks like a fun hole to start off. It is. Yeah, it's so been nice and. I hesitate to say easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is right past the for real dough pizza place, correct? Yeah, you can almost actually, you probably actually see it from the tea pad. Oh, really? Down for, through the woods into the parking lot. For real dough? For real dough. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yep. So you, you realize now a little more height and a little wide is the way to go. If you keep it low and screaming at it, you're likely to catch something just like that on the way in. All right. It's a new day. You've got to get used to these guys and their new outfits. Yeah, Ryan Jewell really wants to be seen. He's wearing red today. Mm-hmm. He probably heard our... He went from black to green to red. He's well, like, he camo at one point. He yeah. <laughs> says, here I am. That's a really nice shot. Andrew. Andrew's on the back and turnover, huh? And as you can see, Ryan Jewell is up shot. He's probably going to just convert his par. Not just, you know. Not just. And Tristan kind of showed the guys the way, and he had one of the nicer drives on the card. Oh! I was going to say, let's see if he changed it, because he hit a couple high... He was, hitting, he was putting high last round. Mm -hmm. Looks like he just needs to dial that thing in. Mike Sale... Picking up where he left off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never met Mike, but uh, <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> he seems pretty funny. <laughs> All righty. Good job, Ryan. I like those disc catchers there at the this new course. They're nice. Yeah. Hole two. Uh, it's 318 feet. This is a cool shot. You can see the basket. Looks a little low. Yeah. Yep. This is a fun shot. It, it's kind of a straight shot. It's how far uphill do you think this one is, Spank? Uh, by the time you get to the, it's pretty, it's pretty flat the whole way, and then the basket's just perched up, so it's probably like ten feet. I can see it now. But okay. the whole fairway isn't actually up; it's just the green is up. Got it. But yeah, probably, probably around five to ten feet. So you got to get over this cabbage first. But yeah, having that rock in the center. Uh, honestly, from the tee pad, the basket's almost blind. Okay. Whereas it, you can see Jason's with the camera, he's behind and above these guys, so he can see it. Are you saying I'm short? <laughs> you would not be able to see this. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> That's a great shot. Wow, Ryan Bain. There you go. Pin high. Come on, Jewel. We can all see Ryan Jewel now, today. Uh, 
looks like it came up a little short and hit a tree. So, see where he is? He's at the rock, and how much tighter it actually is. I feel oh. like from the tee pad, we, it made it look like a really big gap. It's actually a really small gap. Yeah. So it's a it's a fun shot, and if you get it right, it feels incredible. Yeah, look, that looks like eight, eight, nine feet. Yeah, it's so like like I said, like from the tee pad, you're like, oh, it's just a big straight shot. It's actually not. It's a little flip up flexor thing. So far, I'm loving the feel of this course. Yeah. Yeah. Get this get the stump right in front of it, huh? Hmm. Oh no! Right, just a little right side. Yeah, but... Andrew was having some some troubles in the last round. Um, hoping, he, hoping he fixes it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a little low, but it's in. Not used to seeing the hat on uh, on Bane there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Boy, these guys carry a lot of discs, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have heard the more you have, the better you get. <laughs> yeah, I should be the best. All right, Mike's going to settle for a rare bogey. Yeah. For him. I don't think he had a bogey last round, right? I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say no. I don't think he did. Mike was bogey free last round. Hmm. Hole three, 311 feet, side hilling it. It is, it is like way around to the right. I hmm. shouldn't say way around. It's just feels way around. Yeah, I almost feel like the the backhand turnover is a better play. There is a lot to hit on this fairway. Yeah, it looks it like is it. very, very difficult. This shot. looks like. Have you ever seen that movie Predator? In the job, this, this looks like predator territory. So even where Tristan just threw to, which looked to be a really good shot, like mm -hmm. he's he's not there. I don't think. That's a bit more inside. That might actually have a look down to it. This is so exciting! Just a new course, sure. like figuring it out, and just like these guys are probably. This has got to be new. I mean, it is new to everybody, but I don't think many of these guys have played this course that often. Yeah, that for, re times. for real though, yeah. Yeah. You can see the basket all the way up through these trees now. Oh, so it's actually a bit higher, okay. What? Yep. I don't even know what's going on. Wow. Catch Cam Ridge. I think he was just trying to get out, like he just needed to punch a gap. Yeah. And you know, some of the, sometimes that off, the weird footing, you know, just co it causes you to throw, overthrow it, underthrow it. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Watch out for Predator. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it looks really green. It's super cool. Oh, I think he's parked. You can see how steep the side hill is. It's yeah. Like crazy. It's very difficult to get a shot off because you, you could almost put your hand out and touch, you know, and touch the ground. Yeah, like, it's classic Craig Getty design, yeah. basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He likes, like, his he likes his mountain golf, right? Yeah, he's like, try this, boys. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty stoked on those orange disc catchers. No surprise here that was... Only a total of four birdies on the day. Andrew's going to go back to even for the round. Pretty close to what everybody's doing here. Ryan's going to, I think Ryan's going to take control of the, uh, the box. Ryan Bain. Or, yeah, or keep the box rather. This is a cool shot. It's only 185. It goes like across this open run and then into another pocket of trees. Uh, very like specific shot. I think the forehand works, oh. um, but you do have to hit a pretty tight gap coming in. You, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of guys just throwing like a smooth putter backhand at it. Now I know we're talking about disc golf, but there's a boulder back there. How <laughs> big is it? Can we climb on it? Can we climb on it? If you guys don't know, Dave and I like to do a little bit of rock climbing. All I see is 
places to climb, places to disc golf, or places to mountain bike. Mountain bike. <laughs> Really? This is not a surprise to see this shot here, but he's begging it to get down. It does. It did, yeah, it, it filtered down through some some branches. You can see some works that have been done here. All right, let's see if uh, Ryan can convert his putt here. There it is. And Jewel, way to go. On the board, finally. Mm-hmm. It always feels good to get that birdie just so you can get your your uh, your round going, you know? Get the momentum going. I see what you mean by a little rough cut here, you know, like there's still some things that need to be You know, even being on the green, mm -hmm. you're you're inside twenty feet and there's some logs there, and that's fine. It's a lot of work to do. Yep. And the shots are there and the shots are, and the, the holes are beautiful. Yeah. As Birdie Tristan. Uh but yeah, between you and me, um I like this kind of golf. Mm -hmm. I like woods golf. Oh yeah. Even if it's rough, you know, it, it's it's fun. Yeah. I enjoy it. Here these guys go oh, heading uphill, hole five, 171 feet. It is steep. It is not playing like 171. It looks like it's 35, 40 feet. Oh, at least. Yeah, it's way up there. And look at the angle he had to throw that on. Ooh. This will give you a better view of the example. Yeah. It's like at least 40 feet up, if not. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you can see Ryan has put his socks on the outside of his pants to keep probably the burrs and, you know, yeah, sorts of debris. The, the out scrapes of there. away, you know? Mm -hmm. That's a great shot. Oh, right on the. There's a shelf up there. I see that. It's, yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! He says it all. Give us a smile. There you go. Oh. Andrew! Wow. Fantastic. Give I thought we were going to see another ace. Giving us some fireworks. Right? That would have been the, what, the third ace we saw on this coverage anyway? Oh my gosh, yeah, it would have been. Right? I didn't even think about that. Kristen, great yeah. birdie. Yeah, he this is a fun hole. This it is, looks like it, yeah. It's all there. You just got to just smoothly. It almost seems like a, like a backyard hole. Like, yeah. oh, it's up the hill. I'm going to put a basket up here. It's only 170 feet. Sure it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might be reaching for a fairway driver, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah 148 grams. <laughs> <laughs> for real, though. For real, though. Yeah, so this course, uh, I guess it's open five days a week, closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I think. I think yeah, they're I to so. do work on it. Well, they're also, they're, the parking lot is used for, like, the, I don't remember the name of the company, but, like, the road crew that's working on the highways. S Plund or something like that. Yeah, so there's, like, a billion work trucks in the parking lot, so maybe some days, maybe that's why, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hole six, five ten. This is a cool one. Ooh. This is a couple of fun different shapes uh i think that's probably the optimal line especially if you if you got it mm -hmm. just it's 510 it's a par four or sorry a par five so it's a pretty short par five but it's just placement golf put it in the center on the little walking path where you can kind of see ridge way in the back throw it right yep. at him wait is he a referee ridge i don't think that's ridge <laughs> okay <laughs> ref ridge ref ridge anyway <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to leak left and it's not good. We don't want to be there. Really? Oh, yeah. The, the so only gap, the only gap is up on the right hillside. Like the high hillside. That's going to be really good. Right there. He's going to have hopefully a little flexy forehand. You're going to throw down the road, drift it left, down and then hopefully break back right. Something overstable. You reckon that's a new road they put in or just a, a old exi existing road that uh they're using as a fairway. Uh, you know what, Dave? We might have to do a little more research. To bust out my California maps. That's right. From 1927. It's a hard angle to hit, but it's there. Yeah. So tr oh, Tristan looks like he just did it. Oh, oh, he caught the... A bit outside. I see that yeah. now. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're kind of staggered. The trees on the left are forward, and the trees on the right are back. 
You can finally see the basket through the little tunnel now. But I think everyone that's played like played this hole once thinks, oh, I can get the three here. Because you just got to throw two two good shapes, and then you're on the green. Mm -hmm. But it's easier said than done. Sure. Or could this be it? At least it stays right there. Yeah, this is some pretty dense wood golf so far. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh no! Wow. Great bit. Oh, no, they missed all the buttons. <clears throat> yeah, looks like we had some well, technical <laughs> difficulties over here. Hopefully I'm not spoiling anything for anyone, but there was there was three eagles on that one for the day. One of them was the homie Zach McFarling. All right on. Had a boy. Hole seven, guys. 300 feet. A par three. Yeah. You can see the basket, which is uh, always a plus. A yeah. Short. But everybody can see the basket, so got to make it count. Well. All right. Yeah, it's another cool one. To, it's interesting the way that the they made the shot shape. That branch is right in the way of the straight shot, so you kind of try to put something out to the side. But if you go too wide, then you're going to catch some trees. Mm -hmm. So it is a for for just being a somewhat short straight downhill hole. It's actually a little technical. So I think a nice design. Cool. That's kind of how you play it. Mm-hmm. Looks like Craig really likes to build uh, disc golf courses by water towers, <laughs> water <laughs> tanks. And aesthetically, they're pretty, you know. Yeah, they add, they add. I just like hearing them or hitting them so I can hear the boom. <laughs> all, 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 all. You're an idiot. <laughs> I got nothing. I can't even defend myself. Come on, <laughs> for real though. Pizza, pizza. Nice All right. Birdie. A little conversion, hole seven. Well, yeah, well, we got two birdies so far. And conversion. a par. Yeah, two birds, three pars. I think it's a well designed hole. Looks like it. I mean, it sounds fair. Right? Yep. It's there. You just got to throw it right. Uh, hole 8, 289. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you reckon it is? Uh, I, I'm assuming it's a bit to the left. It's. It's like kind of up like there it's there uh, there it is <laughs> it, that's where it is look everybody yeah it, it's so hard to see through here but uh just into obviously you saw it it was a great line at it i think oh yeah it looks like that group behind those walking is probably going to hold mine yeah i see now Just heavily guarded. There's there is lanes to it. It's it's easier to see in person, really. Mm -hmm. that uphill hole too. It looks like a fun course. Looks like it just needs to be beat in a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? Like yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'd say just there's there's some really uh, unique shot shapes to this course that you don't get to necessarily see. At a lot of other courses, it's, it's playing, saying a lot. Sit, they're playing on side hills, downhills, uphills. You know, gaps through trees. They the gaps are there. They're mm -hmm. just hard to see at first glance. You play one round and then you're like, oh, let's go around again because now I know these lines. You know, sure. they realize they exist. So. That's the whole beauty of you know discovering playing, new courses. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Traveling the country, playing new courses. It's like, hey, let's put a basket here. Let's see what happens. All right. Nice par. Looks like uh, Tristan's first in. 
Ryan's looking to be number two here. Wow, Ryan's poking in that birdie. Ryan Jewel. You think these guys are thinking about that pizza at the end yet? Or you think they're they're pretty focused on the disc golf? You know, I say a couple of them are really focused on the cash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you buy pizza spank. <laughs> For real though. You know, if I'm uh if I'm 30 strokes back in the lead, I might be thinking about that pizza at yeah. this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold nine. 191 feet. Looks like you can see the top of the basket. Slight downhill. Looks like a specific shape. I mean, yeah, you can see the you can see the fairway mm -hmm. where you're trying to come in. I feel you know this this course to me seems like in uh, say two to three years if there's a tournament here mm -hmm. that the locals up here that live up in like the Donner and yep. Chucky mm -hmm. area, Soda Springs, yep. they, they're gonna have that major upper hand knowing like when a disc needs to break into a line and sure. how hard to throw it like for the oh, for instance like i'm surprised oh. they're all gone for forehands except for uh i forget who it was this seems like a backhand line but again i haven't been here right to this particular course yet but uh yeah we'll see and it is oh, oh. that is a scary run it is very i mean clearly it's it's very steep. It can get away from you fast. Great uh, comeback putt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all pretty tight right now. Someone needs to, you know, really step on the gas here. You know, kind of create some some more uh, yeah. separate. All right. Three <laughs> separate down. <laughs> three down. Four down. Three down. Four down. Two down. I mean, and this is—is is this Ryan? Uh, Ryan Jewel. Yep. Ryan for birdie. Yeah. Yep. Literally three down, four down, three down, four down, mm -hmm. two down, like. I mean, I guess if they keep this same pace, Tristan's going to walk away with it, but this is definitely that kind of course that. Things it, can happen. It, easily. Yeah. The guy in the league could take a dub. Some drama. Some drama could happen. You, you can get off of the fairway and kind of. Super exciting. Yeah. But yeah, fun front night. Fun for you to see the course for the first time. Yeah. Kind of cool for me to see it for the first time on camera after playing it. And uh, we've got a couple of scores. Alex Kalanji and Ryan Jewell shooting the five unders there. Um, yeah. So, I mean, trust me, from my experience playing there, five through nine is solid. That's good. you got to hit specific lines. And um, Cool. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to check out the, the back nine. Well, then let's get to it. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys in a second.